Top 10 Most Deadly Mushrooms in the World Hello curious minds from around the globe. Welcome back to Don't Call Me Chicken. Today, we're diving headfirst into the fascinating world of fungi. Have you ever stumbled upon a captivating mushroom while hiking in the woods and wondered? Could this be dangerous? Or maybe you're a seasoned forager, and you're curious to see if your knowledge matches our top 10 deadliest picks? We're about to embark on a journey through the shadowy, enigmatic realm of fungi as we unveil the top 10 most deadly mushrooms in the world. But first, don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell to stay updated on our upcoming videos. Are you ready? Let's begin! 10. Fly Agaric Amanita muscaria Amanita muscaria, commonly known as the fly agaric, is a basidiomycete mushroom found in temperate and boreal regions of the northern hemisphere. This iconic toadstool has made its way into popular culture, appearing in various media, including video games like the Mario franchise and fairy tales like the Smurfs. However, its toxicity and psychoactive properties make it a potentially dangerous species. While Amanita muscaria is traditionally considered poisonous, it can be detoxified and made edible through specific preparation methods. This process involves parboiling the mushroom, which significantly reduces its toxicity. Some cultures have a history of consuming detoxified Amanita muscaria, but this practice has never been widespread. The distinctive appearance of Amanita muscaria, with its bright red cap and white spots, has made it a popular choice for depictions of gnome houses and fairy tales. In the Smurfs franchise and other similar stories, these mushrooms often serve as homes or seats for fictional characters. Amanita muscaria poses a potential threat to humans due to its toxicity. Ingestion of this mushroom can lead to a range of symptoms, including nausea, hallucinations, and even seizures. However, fatalities from Amanita muscaria poisoning are exceptionally rare, thanks to modern medical treatment. The toxins in Amanita muscaria include muscimol and ibotenic acid. Muscimol acts as a potent GABA receptor agonist, while ibotenic acid affects NMDA glutamate receptors. These interactions in the central nervous system can lead to various psychoactive effects, including hallucinations and altered perceptions. Consuming Amanita muscaria can result in a wide array of effects, ranging from mild nausea to hallucinations and mood changes. Users may experience perceptual phenomena like synesthesia, where senses blend, or micropsia and macropsia, where objects appear smaller or larger than they are. In severe cases, delirium, seizures, and coma can occur. Amanita muscaria is native to the northern hemisphere's temperate and boreal regions, including areas like North America, Europe, and parts of Asia. It has also been introduced to various regions in the southern hemisphere, primarily through the transport of pine seedlings. In cases of Amanita muscaria poisoning, medical attention should be sought. Treatment involves supportive care, with measures such as activated charcoal and gastric lavage if administered soon after ingestion. Benzodiazepines can help manage symptoms like agitation and seizures. Generally, patients recover within 12 to 24 hours with appropriate treatment. Amanita muscaria is a captivating mushroom with a rich cultural presence, but its toxicity and potential psychoactive effects make it a species that should be approached with caution. While some have consumed detoxified Amanita muscaria as food, its use primarily remains in the realm of traditional practices and cautionary tales. 9. Angel Wing Pleurocybella porigens Angel wing mushrooms, Pleurocybella porigens, are a species that closely resembles oyster mushrooms but are known to be problematic due to their potential toxicity. Distinguishing between them is crucial, as mistaking one for the other can be dangerous. Angel wings have been a subject of controversy in the mushroom world. They were once considered edible and even listed as good in older foraging guides around the globe. However, more recent guides issue warnings about their potential toxicity. This shift from being considered safe for consumption to dangerous raises questions about these enigmatic mushrooms. Distinguishing between angel wing and oyster mushrooms is challenging, as they share several visual characteristics. Both are white, have semicircular caps with gills that run down the stem, 
and grow on dead or dying trees. However, some key differences exist. Cap shape. Angel wings tend to have a tongue or half funnel shape, while oyster mushrooms have flatter, shell-like caps. Stems. Angel wings typically lack stems, while oyster mushrooms have more significant stems. Habitat. Angel wings prefer conifer trees, whereas most oyster species grow on hardwoods in the wild. Angel wing mushrooms have been consumed by people for centuries, particularly in Asia, Europe, and North America, either knowingly or as a presumed oyster mushroom species. However, their potential toxicity became evident when a poisoning event occurred in Japan in 2004. In 2004, 59 people in Japan fell ill after consuming angel wing mushrooms, and 17 of them died from acute encephalopathy, a severe neurological condition with internal organ damage, especially to the kidneys and brain. Victims were typically elderly individuals with compromised kidney function. Angel wing mushroom poisoning exhibits delayed symptoms, including tremors, weakness, seizures, and mental disturbances, followed by brain lesions and eventual death. Symptoms of angel wing mushroom poisoning manifest 13 to 18 days after consumption, making it difficult to associate illness with mushroom ingestion. Tremors, limb weakness, seizures, and mental turmoil are common signs, with brain lesions developing a few days later, often leading to death within 10 days of symptom onset. Angel wings are widespread in Asia, Europe, and North America, typically appearing on dead or dying conifer trees, logs, and stumps. They favor eastern hemlock and are most commonly found in late summer through fall. Treatment for angel wing mushroom poisoning involves addressing symptoms and supporting organ function. No specific antidote exists, and the toxin's effects on primate brains remain unexamined. The toxin's concentration can vary based on climate conditions and mushroom growth, raising questions about its safety in small quantities and its suitability for consumption by individuals with pre-existing health conditions. Angel wing mushrooms represent a perplexing case of a seemingly edible species turning toxic. The transformation from a culinary delight to a potential threat highlights the complexity of nature and the importance of cautious foraging and accurate identification when it comes to wild mushrooms. 8. Deadly Dapperling Lepiota brenio incarnata The deadly dapperling, Lepiota brenio incarnata is a gilled mushroom belonging to the genus Lepiota within the order Agaricales. Widespread across Europe and temperate regions of Asia, extending as far east as China, this mushroom often grows in grassy areas like fields, parks, and gardens. Unfortunately, it is frequently mistaken for edible mushrooms, with dire consequences due to its high toxicity. This mushroom poses a significant threat to human health as it closely resembles edible species such as the gray knight, Trichilomaterium, and the fairy ring champignon, Merasmius aureats. This resemblance has led to numerous cases of accidental poisoning and fatalities. The deadly dapperling is highly toxic, containing substantial amounts of alpha-aminitin. This toxin has been responsible for fatalities and poisoning outbreaks in various regions, including Spain in 2002, Iran in 2018, and Tunisia in 2010. Consumption of just 100 grams of Lepiota brenio incarnata can result in severe liver damage. Initial symptoms of poisoning include gastrointestinal distress, with nausea and vomiting occurring approximately 10 hours after consumption. Subsequently, victims may experience liver damage a few days later. The deadly dapperling is primarily found in warmer parts of Europe, particularly in southern regions. However, it has also been recorded in Britain, Germany, Turkey, Israel, Pakistan, Iran, and eastern China. Swift and accurate identification is crucial for the effective treatment of poisoning cases. Detection of ammonite in urine is possible 36 to 48 hours after ingestion. Medical management may involve intravenous salibinin to reduce ammonite in uptake, along with penicillin G, N-acetylcysteine, and general supportive measures like rehydration. In severe cases, liver transplantation may be necessary. The deadly dapperling represents a grave peril to human health due to its toxicity and its likeness to edible mushrooms. 
Awareness of its characteristics and the associated risks is paramount in regions where it is found to prevent inadvertent poisonings and loss of life. 7. Potostroma cornudani. Poison fire coral. Potostroma cornudani, also known as cane take, in Japanese, is a fungal species belonging to the family Hypocreaceae. This fungus, commonly referred to as the poison fire coral, poses a significant threat to human health due to its highly toxic nature. This article explores the dangerous aspects of this fungus, its toxicity, associated symptoms, global distribution, and potential treatments. Potostroma cornudami is a menace to human health due to its extreme toxicity. The consumption of this fungus has resulted in numerous fatalities, particularly in Japan, where it has claimed lives. The fungus contains several trichothecene mycotoxins, which are potent toxins known to have severe effects on the human body. Ingesting even a small amount of this fungus can lead to a range of alarming symptoms. Symptoms associated with the consumption of Potostroma cornidami include stomach pains, alterations in perception, a decrease in the number of leukocytes and thrombocytes, peeling skin on the face, hair loss, and cerebellum shrinkage leading to speech impediments and voluntary movement difficulties. In some cases, autopsy reports have revealed multiple organ failure, including acute kidney failure, liver necrosis, and disseminated intravascular coagulation, hemophagocytosis, severe leukocytopenia, and thrombocytopenia have also been observed in poisoned individuals. Various treatments, including plasmapheresis and granulocyte colony stimulating factor administration, have been used to manage these severe symptoms. While initially believed to be native only to Korea and Japan, recent discoveries have expanded its range to include Indonesia, Java, Papua New Guinea, and certain regions of Australia. This global distribution underscores the importance of recognizing and avoiding this toxic fungus in various parts of the world. Treatment for Potostroma cornidami poisoning is challenging due to the potency of its toxins. Management typically involves aggressive medical intervention, including plasmapheresis and supportive care. In some cases, large volumes of intravenous saline have been administered to facilitate recovery. Potostroma cornidami, the poison fire coral, is a fungal species of grave concern to human health. Its extreme toxicity, associated symptoms, and expanding geographic distribution make it imperative for individuals to be aware of its dangers and to exercise caution to prevent accidental ingestion. Effective treatment of poisoning cases remains a medical challenge due to the severity of symptoms induced by this deadly fungus. 6. Foliatina rugosa. Conicide filaris. Foliatina rugosa, commonly known as the rough-stalked conicide, is a widespread mushroom with a dangerous secret. This fungus is commonly found in regions like the Pacific Northwest and can thrive in various environments, including wood chips, flower beds, and compost. Despite its seemingly innocuous appearance, it harbors mycotoxins akin to those found in the notorious death cap mushroom. In this comprehensive overview, we delve into the perils associated with Foliatina rugosa, detailing its toxicity, symptoms of poisoning, global distribution, and potential treatment. Foliatina rugosa poses a significant threat to humans due to its deadly poisonous nature. This mushroom produces alpha-aminitin, a cyclic peptide notorious for its high toxicity to the liver. It is the same toxin responsible for numerous mushroom poisoning fatalities associated with genera such as Aminita and Lepiota. The toxicity of Foliatina rugosa is a grave concern. The alpha-aminitin it contains can cause severe liver damage leading to potentially fatal outcomes. This toxin disrupts cellular processes and can result in liver failure if ingested. Consumption of Foliatina rugosa can lead to a range of distressing symptoms. These may include nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, and diarrhea. These symptoms often appear within hours after ingestion, making prompt medical attention crucial. Foliatina rugosa has been identified in various regions across the globe. It has been reported in Europe, Asia, and North America. Its ability to thrive in different climates and habitats underscores the need for awareness and caution. The toxicity of Foliatina rugosa demands immediate medical intervention. 
patients suffering from poisoning require specialized care, including measures to mitigate liver damage and remove toxins from the body. Timely treatment can significantly improve the chances of recovery. The rough-stalked conicide, Foliatina rugosa, though commonly encountered in many regions, hides a perilous secret. Its mycotoxins can lead to severe liver damage and even death if ingested. Recognizing the symptoms of poisoning and seeking prompt medical attention is vital. As this fungus can be found in diverse geographic regions, awareness of its presence and associated risks is crucial to human safety. 5. Deadly Webcap Cortinarius rubellus The deadly webcap, Cortinarius rubellus, is a highly toxic fungus belonging to the family Cortinariaceae. This species is native to high-latitude temperate to subalpine forests in Eurasia and North America. Within its genus, it is part of a group known as the Orolani, all of which are exceptionally poisonous. Consuming the deadly web cap can have severe consequences for human health. It contains a potent mycotoxin called orelanine, which can lead to kidney failure, often irreversibly. This mushroom's deceptive appearance and high toxicity make it a significant danger to anyone who mistakes it for an edible variety. The primary danger associated with the deadly web cap is its toxicity. Orelanine, the toxic compound found in this mushroom, was first recognized as a threat in 1972 in Finland, where it caused kidney failure in several individuals. Subsequent cases of poisoning have been reported in various regions, including the British Isles, Scandinavia, and North America. Mistaking it for edible mushrooms like chanterelles or seps has led to severe poisoning, kidney transplants, and in some cases, long-term health complications. Symptoms of deadly webcap poisoning may include nausea, abdominal pain, vomiting, and diarrhea, which can progress to kidney failure over time. Victims may not realize the severity of their condition until it is too late, as symptoms may not manifest immediately after ingestion. The deadly web cap has been recorded in high latitude temperate to subalpine forests across the northern hemisphere. It can be found in regions such as Scandinavia, the British Isles, parts of North America, including British Columbia and Washington, and even in central Japan, particularly in the Yatsugatake Mountains. There is no specific antidote for orelanine poisoning, and treatment primarily involves supportive care and kidney transplant when necessary. It is crucial for individuals to exercise extreme caution when foraging for wild mushrooms and to accurately identify species before consumption to avoid the potential dangers posed by the deadly webcap. The deadly webcap, Cordinarius rebellus, presents a grave threat to human health due to its high toxicity, deceptive appearance, and potential for kidney failure. Awareness of its presence in various geographic regions is essential and individuals must exercise caution to prevent accidental ingestion and poisoning. 4. The Funeral Bell Mushroom Gallerina Marginata The Funeral Bell Mushroom, scientifically known as Gallerina Marginata, is a perilous fungus that poses a severe threat to human health. This species, commonly referred to as the Funeral Bell, Deadly Skullcap, Autumn Skullcap, or Deadly Gallerina, belongs to the Hymenogastraceae family within the Agaricales order. This text aims to shed light on the dangers associated with Gallerina marginata, focusing on its toxicity, resemblance to edible species, symptoms of poisoning, global distribution, and potential treatment. The funeral bell mushroom, Gallerina marginata, is a formidable menace to human safety due to its toxic properties. Consuming this mushroom can have grave consequences, as it contains the same deadly amatoxins found in the notorious death cap mushroom, Ammonita phylloides. Ingesting even a small quantity of Gallerina marginata in toxic amounts can result in severe liver damage, accompanied by symptoms such as vomiting, diarrhea, hypothermia, and if not promptly treated, can ultimately lead to death. The amatoxins present in this mushroom inhibit the RNA polymerase II enzyme, disrupting genetic processes and causing liver and kidney dysfunction. The funeral bell mushroom closely resembles certain edible mushroom species, creating a potential for misidentification. This similarity includes species like Armillaria melia and Quenromyces mutabilis, making it crucial for individuals to exercise caution and knowledge in distinguishing them. 
upon ingestion of Galerina marginata. Initial symptoms may include severe abdominal pain, vomiting, and diarrhea, which can persist for several hours. Subsequently, the toxins severely affect the liver, leading to gastrointestinal bleeding, coma, kidney failure, and tragically death. Symptoms may manifest within seven days after consumption. Galerina marginata is distributed widely across the Northern Hemisphere, encompassing regions in Europe, North America, Asia, and even Australia. It typically thrives on decaying conifer wood but may also grow on hardwoods. Swift medical intervention is crucial in cases of Galerina marginata poisoning. Treatment protocols involve aggressive hydration and electrolyte replacement. In severe cases, liver transplantation may be necessary. Milk thistle, Syllabum marianum, has been explored as a potential treatment option to prevent toxins from circulating in the liver. The funeral bell mushroom, Galerina marginata, is a highly toxic fungus capable of causing severe harm to humans. Its resemblance to edible species, coupled with its global distribution, makes it imperative for individuals to be aware of its dangers and seek immediate medical attention in the event of poisoning. Have you ever encountered any of these deadly mushrooms in the wild? Share your experiences or questions in the comments. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel please. 3. The False Morel Gyrometra esculenta The False Morel, scientifically known as Gyrometra esculenta, is a mushroom notorious for its potential threat to human health. This ascomycete fungus is widely distributed across Europe and North America, where it predominantly grows in sandy soils beneath coniferous trees during the spring and early summer months. Despite its alluring appearance, it conceals a perilous secret that has earned it a reputation as a potentially deadly mushroom. While the false morel might resemble an appetizing delicacy, consuming it raw can be life-threatening due to its toxic properties. Nevertheless, it has found its way into the cuisines of various regions, including Scandinavia, Eastern Europe, and parts of North America, such as the Upper Great Lakes region. Interestingly, Spain has prohibited its sale to the public due to its inherent risks. In Finland, it is available but only with strict warnings and instructions on safe preparation. The principal toxin found in Gyrometra esculenta is gyromitrin, which, when ingested, undergoes hydrolysis in the body to form the toxic compound monomethylhydrazine MMH, a component used in rocket fuel. This toxin targets vital organs like the liver, central nervous system, and kidneys. Initial symptoms of poisoning often include vomiting and diarrhea, followed by dizziness, lethargy, and headaches. Severe cases can lead to delirium, coma, and death after a period of five to seven days. The onset of symptoms occurs within six to 12 hours of ingestion, although more severe cases may manifest symptoms in as little as two hours. Early symptoms typically involve gastrointestinal distress, such as nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, often accompanied by fever a distinguishing feature of gyrometra esculenta poisoning. In more severe cases, the toxicity can progress to kidney damage, liver damage, and neurological dysfunction, including seizures and coma. Gyrometra esculenta is found across a wide geographic range. It thrives in temperate coniferous forests, primarily beneath pine trees. While it is more abundant in montane and northern coniferous woodlands, it can be found as far south as Mexico and North America. In Europe, it is common in Central Europe and the Eastern Pyrenees. The mushroom has also been recorded in Turkey and Northern Ireland. Treatment for poisoning primarily involves supportive care, including gastric decontamination with activated charcoal if administered within a few hours of consumption. Intravenous fluids are used to rehydrate patients with severe vomiting or diarrhea. Monitoring of various biochemical parameters and correction of abnormalities is essential. In severe cases, dialysis may be necessary, and medications like pyridoxine, vitamin B6, may be used to counteract neurological symptoms. Despite its recognized toxicity, Gyrometra esculenta is still marketed and consumed in some regions, with preparation methods aimed at reducing its toxicity. However, the potential long-term effects and carcinogenicity of the mushroom remain subjects of concern and controversy. 
The false morel is a perilous mushroom that presents a significant danger to those who unwittingly consume it. Its alluring appearance belies its toxic nature, making it essential for individuals to exercise caution and awareness regarding its risks. 2. Amanita verosa. The Deadly Destroying Angel. Amanita verosa, commonly known as the Destroying Angel or the European Destroying Angel Amanita, is a deadly poisonous basidiomycete fungus belonging to the genus Amanita. This perilous fungus occurs primarily in Europe and is associated with various deciduous and coniferous trees. Its large fruiting bodies, the mushrooms, emerge during the summer and autumn, characterized by uniformly white caps, stipes, and gills. The presence of Amanita verosa poses a significant threat to humans due to its extreme toxicity. This fungus, like its geographical counterparts, is among the most poisonous mushrooms globally, containing the toxic compound alpha-amanitin, which wreaks havoc on the liver and kidneys, often leading to fatal consequences. The toxic constituents of Amanita verosa include amatoxins and phallotoxins. Amatoxins, with alpha-amanitin as a chief component, inhibit RNA polymerase II, crucial for mRNA, microRNA, and snRNA synthesis. This disruption halts protein synthesis and cell metabolism, predominantly affecting the liver, and to some extent, the kidneys. The symptoms of Amanita verosa poisoning typically manifest several hours after ingestion, making it a particularly insidious threat. Victims may experience severe gastrointestinal distress, dehydration, metabolic acidosis, hypoglycemia, electrolyte imbalances, and coagulation impairments. This deadly fungus is primarily found in mixed woodlands, often in association with beech trees, thriving on mossy ground. It is a species that forms ectomycorrhizal relationships with tree roots, a common characteristic among Amanita species. Consuming Amanita verosa is a medical emergency, necessitating hospitalization. Treatment involves preliminary care, supportive measures, specific therapies, and in severe cases, liver transplantation. Preliminary care includes gastric decontamination with activated carbon or gastric lavab. Supportive measures address dehydration and metabolic imbalances. While there is no definitive antidote, treatments such as high-dose intravenous penicillin G, silibinin, and acetylcysteine, and liver transplantation have shown potential benefits. Amanita verosa is a highly toxic mushroom that poses a grave risk to human health. Its insidious nature, resembling edible species and the delay in symptom onset, underscores the importance of caution and awareness when foraging for mushrooms. Prompt medical attention is crucial to mitigate the dire consequences of poisoning. 1. Amanita phylloides. Death cap. Amanita phylloides, commonly known as the death cap, stands as a menacing basidiomycete fungus, belonging to the extensive Amanita genus. While its roots are firmly entrenched in Europe, the latter part of the 20th century witnessed its migration to various corners of the globe. This perilous fungus forms ectomycorrhizal associations with diverse broadleaf trees, sometimes making its incursion into new regions through the cultivation of non-native trees like oak, chestnut, and pine. The death cap represents a critical menace to human health. Notorious for its lethality, it is estimated that consuming as little as half a mushroom holds the potential to terminate an adult human life. This mushroom ranks among the leading culprits behind fatal mushroom poisonings globally. Regrettably, its appearance closely resembles that of several edible mushroom species, such as Caesar's mushroom and the straw mushroom, further elevating the risk of accidental poisoning. Its toxins, the amatoxins, are remarkably thermostable defying the mitigating effects of cooking or any other culinary preparation. Amanita phylloides is distinguished as one of the most poisonous fungi known to science. Its toxic potency resides chiefly in alpha-amanitin, a prominent constituent, which primarily targets the liver and kidney, culminating in organ failure. The consequences of ingesting this fungus are often dire, leading to severe illness and, in some cases, fatalities. A particularly insidious aspect of the death cap is its close resemblance to various edible mushroom species. Individuals, often with tragic consequences, mistake it for safe varieties such as the paddy straw mushroom or white Caesar mushroom. 
This deceptive similarity exacerbates the danger, making accurate identification a critical challenge. Symptoms of death cap mushroom poisoning typically manifest 6 to 12 hours after ingestion. Initially, victims experience gastrointestinal distress, characterized by abdominal pain, vomiting, diarrhea, and dehydration. In more severe cases, the poisoning advances to include jaundice, seizures, and coma, resulting in liver failure and hepatic encephalopathy. Kidney failure and coagulopathy may also ensue, with life-threatening complications such as increased intracranial pressure and cardiac arrest. Originally native to Europe, the death cap has since expanded its range. It can be found across Europe, from Scandinavia to the Mediterranean Basin, and has even infiltrated regions as distant as North America, Australia, South America, Africa, and Asia. This expansion has occurred primarily through the importation of hardwoods and conifers. Death cap mushroom consumption constitutes a medical emergency necessitating immediate hospitalization. Treatment protocols encompass gastric decontamination, supportive measures to address dehydration and metabolic disturbances, and specific treatments such as high-dose intravenous penicillin G and salibinin. In severe cases of liver failure, a liver transplant may be the sole recourse to prevent fatality. The annals of history contain accounts of individuals, including Roman Emperor Claudius and Holy Roman Emperor Charles VI, who may have succumbed to death cap poisoning. These incidents serve as stark reminders of the peril this fungus poses to humanity. Ammonita phylloides epitomizes a grave threat to human health, characterized by its lethal toxicity, deceptive similarity to edible species, and insidious symptoms. Its geographical reach spans the globe, necessitating vigilance and awareness. Prompt identification and proper treatment are essential in mitigating the dangers posed by this deadly fungal adversary. It's crucial to stay informed about these potentially life-threatening fungi, whether you're a curious nature enthusiast or just want to protect your loved ones. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey. See you in the next video.